Zoo is a touching documentary about one case in which the internet has brought people closer to nature. Done almost entirely through reenactment, the film tells the story of a group of zoophiles who met on the internet and assembled in a horse town near Seattle. It focuses on their philosophies and sentiments towards animals and attaches a dreamlike feeling to, of exploration to these ideas through cinematography. Most of the footage takes place outdoors at dawn or dark, playing with light or and uh, at dawn or dusk, excuse me, playing with light and dark to create a sense of wonder, the sublime and the verge of the unknown. Shots in this style make you feel like you're on a journey and about to discover something. And that's the first thing I loved about this film, despite the fact that it seems to glorify bestiality. The second thing I loved about it is the fact that it seems to glorify bestiality. Authorities were alerted to the group's activities, which were at the time legal, when one of their members died of internal bleeding because a horse's penis ruptured his colon. It's hard to believe that anyone would make a movie glorifying this kind of behavior, which leads me to believe that it was done in such a way for humor's sake, especially after a Q&A session with the director. When I asked him about the purpose of the footage of one of the zoophiles, rifle in hand, dragging a dead deer through the wool through the woods with a Doberman pincher by his side, muzzle dripping with blood. He replied that it was meant as a subtle hint towards the fact that people kill animals too. The movie very subtly points out certain hypocrisy, hypocrisies and stupidity surrounding the way these people and we as a culture look at animals. And that is the genus here, an imaginative and shocking look into human interaction with animals.